I'm Chinese. You're Chinese. Jojo's Korean. Hey, how are you? That'd be Jojo Banks. Put on the most spicy sauce. Who partnered up with her pal David Young. How long's the line? When he decided to buy his uncle's coffee shop. We want to make a menu that kind of combine all flavors that we like to eat. What do people say when they walk in and then find kimchi fried rice burrito? They just scratch their hands like you do. <laughs> <laughs> spicy pork kimchi burrito? Oh, yeah. They also order it. Korean barbecue and a burrito. Two best foods smashed together. Then you put kimchi on anything. It's just awesome. Kimchi into a burrito. Yes. First thing we do is we take Napa cabbage. Cut it in quarters? Cut it in quarters. After this, Korean sea salt. So this will pull all the moisture out. How long is this going to sit with the salt on it? Overnight. We rinse it and then make a sauce for it. Give it to me. A sweet rice sweet flour. Sweet rice powder. We're going to put a little water in there. Now we mix it up. This is just kind of the binding agent? Binding agent. Red crushed pepper. All of that? All of that, OK. Korean anchovies, anchovy sauce. We got some sugar. Get the nice paste in there. Leeks? Yep. Julian leeks. Sliced daikon. And then we got some uh, carrots. Smell the flavors coming up? Yeah. How pungent it is? This is seriously some of the stuff I love more than anything. Rub everything inside really, really well. Put this in here. Let it ferment. And how long should kimchi ferment? A day. <laughs> All right. What are we going to make? Korean spicy pork sauce. Chopped onions. Chopped ginger. Garlic. Put a little water in there. Kiwi. A little bit of kiwi makes a difference? Yes. Put in this much garlic <laughs> and this much ginger. This much kiwi. And then we're going to blend it. We're going to break it all the way down. Really? Yeah. And then we're going to put all this stuff in there. Sugar, soy sauce, Korean bean paste. I got to try this. That's awesome. <laughs> a little sweet, spicy miso. Like Korean peanut butter. <laughs> Korean red pepper flakes. Is that hot? It's very hot. OK. OK. <laughs> and then we'll mix it again. This is what the pork gets marinated in. Exactly. That is awesome. Now what do we do? We're going to take the pork butt. The regular old pork butt. Slice it thin. Now we take our sliced pork. Got it. And get that marinated. It's going to soak up the marinade. Uh -huh. Which the marinade is the bomb. But how long will it marinate? For at least a day. Fire it up. So we got the spicy pork. Let's see a little bit. A little caramelization on the outside. Yeah. yeah. Put a little sesame oil in there. Got it. Kimchi we go. Chopped it up. And mix it all in there. All the flavors coming out. So good. Jasmine rice. This is the sauce we made to flavor the rice. A lot of work for a burrito, bro. Exactly. And then scallions. Give it some nice color. Take the tortilla shell. Get that nice and heated up. The whole mixture right there. Look at that. Long beans. Love them. Jelly and cucumbers. A little bit of hot sauce. Sour cream. This I don't get. And then a little bit of nori. This is the oddest burrito I've ever seen. We roll that up right there. Parchment paper. I'll eat right through the parchment paper. <laughs> and then we wrap it in foil to keep it nice and hot. Look at that. Mm. Brother, that's out of bounds. The kimchi, a little bit sour, a little bit spicy. The meat's got tons of flavor, a little chew. And the mung bean, mm, dude, that is seriously the bomb. Nice job. On Triple D, we've been to every state in the country. We have been to the big cities, and we've been to the small towns. And wait till you hear this story. A husband and wife team, well, actually, a husband and wife team and their kids. Well, actually, it's a husband and wife team and their kids and his parents are serving up comfort food to the good folks of Laramie, Wyoming. This is Jay's Prairie Rose Cafe. Philly cheesesteak going down. They treat you like family here and good home cooking. And enough to feed a guy your size? Oh, yeah. I got the load of hash. It's just a fixture in Laramie. And Jason and Anna Eichbush have three generations working to keep this community fed. Dad helps and mom helps on the weekends. And I have my older kids cooking. You got a whole family affair going on here. Getting sausage on the tower. How do you describe what is going on here at the Prairie Rose? Hometown Diner. J7220 Burrito. The 7220 Burrito is named after the altitude of Laramie. The filling in that is hash browns, sauteed vegetables with this slightly spicy green chili. Start cooking, good looking. Where are we making our pork rub? For, for our pork. For, for our pork. And this is all going for the 7992 Burrito. 7220. Dang. Start with our chili powder, ground cumin, and a mess of kosher salt. A mess now. Brown sugar, granulated garlic. Paprika. A good amount of cayenne. Onion powder. Black pepper and dry mustard. Throw it in a little braising with his apple cider vinegar. It's a mixture of water and liquid smoke. All right, so hit that with the dry rub. I like to go in a convection oven about four and a half hours. What's the next step? We're going to make our famous green chili. Start by seasoning the pork. Garlic powder and season salt. Butter in our pot. I thought that was orange juice. Just a little, just a just little. Just a little bit so of butter. So just a touch of butter. Yeah. So we got our ground pork. Diced onions, let this cook 15, 20 minutes. OK. When we're done making this roux, we're going to add it. Oh, which way? <laughs> which, I, I got it. <laughs> this is just water. Chicken stock, this is the base to the green chili. Diced tomatoes, you can't have green chili without, without green, green chili. chili. Jalapenos, garlic, cumin, chili powder, paprika, black pepper, and some seasoned salt. 
This will cook down. The pork and onions will cook. Then we'll add the flour, make the roux, dump it in, the whole thing will be done. Yeah. And this is the chili that goes on top of the 722. 7220. 7220. Son of a. By the end of this, I'll get it right. All right, let's get started. So we'll have our hash browns on the grill. This is our pork. We know it's done. When, when it, the bone comes out, comes hey, out. here's a souvenir for the kids. Pull our pork, a little butter, diced cream breakfast. Diced onions, black beans. Normally we'd do an egg here, but since we're doing a guy-friendly dish. Guy-friendly. Warm our flour tortilla to make it pliable. Load that into our tortilla. Jay's Prairie Rose, known for these small portions. Absolutely. Our hash brown, cheese. And you think that that's going to roll up into a burrito? It will. And now the green chili. <whistles> cheese on top, some chives. And all right, let me finally get some counter time. That's a pretty good napkin. I got any right there, am I good? Looking good. Pork is delicious, nice and tender and juicy. The green chili, brother, that is comfort food 101. I mean, that is welcome to Larry and me. Have a nice day. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Yeah, if you leave here hungry, it's your own fault. <laughs> if you leave here hungry, it's because your jaw's wide shot. <laughs> right, excellent. Loaded 7220 up. I travel all over the world. I've never had green chili better than the green chili they have here. It's very savory and flavorful. Okay. One sushi burrito up. I'm about grab and go. Grab sushi burrito and go hit the beach. You're going to get shrimp tempura. You're getting the ahi pokey, a really great sauce that's in there as well. It's delicious. So everything I love in a sushi roll, but now it's in a burrito. Yeah. And this is not the ahi that you get at the grocery store. Look at that. Oh. That's kawaii con, baby. Brother. <laughs> all right, so give me the rundown. How's it all go? We're going to make our spicy aioli, mm. Japanese cupe mayo, mm. sriracha, mm. chili oil, lemon juice, sashimi pepper, and a little bit of salt. Then what is this setup? So that setup is going to go on top of the tuna to just give it a little bit more kick. A little bit of sashimi pepper, a little bit more sriracha. A little sesame oil, and a little more salt. Spicy aioli on top. For the Japanese burrito. Absolutely. And then we're going to break out the Sushi Robot 9000. 10,000. It's the new addition. Rice is already in it. Cooked sushi rice. Ha uh ha! -huh. 1,400 rolls an hour. Lay the nori, perfect every time. Huh? Cut our kawaii shrimp tempura, little surimi crab. OK. Fresh ahi tuna, cucumber, the spicy aioli we made earlier, minagi sauce. When did it become a burrito? Right now. It's a seaweed tortilla. And it's ready to roll. So what you've made is a Giant gigantic maki roll. As big as a burrito. Now I understand. It took me a while. I dig it. You get the warm shrimp. You get the cold spicy tuna. You get the rice, which I'll say, one of my big fears of any time I see something being automated, especially something as delicate as sushi, is that that rice gets hammered. It gets okay. pressed together too much. I think one of the reasons that you wouldn't find people getting sushi to go is it takes forever. So what you have here, someone can order a burger, someone gets a fish sandwich, and someone can get a sushi burrito, and you can be back on the road in five minutes. Right to the beach. That's a big deal. Well done. Your sushi burrito. I love the freshness of the fish, and the sauce is not too overwhelming, just the right amount of spiciness. Cowboy Junkie burrito up. The Cowboy Junkie is Kansas City in a burrito. It's just stuffed with pork, cheesy, delicious. What are we getting into first? Smoking our mesquite pork. I don't even want to know what this is. Makeshift smoker. Very strange. We're not going to season the pork at all. It's going on just like it is. OK, so just an hour to perfume it with the smoke. Then it's going to get a wet rub on it. We're going to start off with some chipotle and adobo, ground oregano, ground black pepper, garlic powder, salt, olive oil. Well, I'm telling you what, this is going to be lacking any flavor by any means. Garlic? Red bell pepper. This is one of the funkier taco meats that I've come across, by the way. Julienne onions. OK. Add some cold water. Throw it in the oven at 250 overnight, 10, 12 hours. Now we're going to do our chorizo. We got our ground picnic pork, which is like the arm and the shoulder, oregano, cinnamon, 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 cinnamon. cloves, cayenne pepper, coriander, cumin, salt, pepper, a little bit of sugar, sweeten that up. Garlic powder, chili powder, paprika. I like when the seasoning gets 50-50 on the meat. That's where we're at right about now. Puree, chipotle, and adobo. OK. Apple cider vinegar. Let it rest overnight. What's our final step before we build the burrito? Queso blanco. OK. Red onions, salt, melt those babies sweat up. Milk, our cheese. Nothing happier than a big bucket of processed cheese. That is a lot of queso. Cream here. Serrano pepper is all charred up with some milk. So this is going to cook down. OK, let's do it. Let's see it. Flour tortilla, chorizo. We actually throw the mesquite pork on top of that so those juices flow together. Roll it up. See those little moves he did right there? A little push, pull, make. Drop it in the fryer. That's nice. Comes with a gym membership. Do a nice bed of our Spanish rice. The cowboy junkie burrito in the center of that. Queso blanco. There we go. Spicy bacon pinto beans. 
fresh pico de gallo, cilantro. That's your cowboy junkie right there. You know what that's lacking? No. Nothing. Brother, you are the flavor man. It's balanced, delicious heat. The beans are definitely a plus. You got smoke in the pork. The queso, it's creamy, silky. Love the pico on there. That's a really good burrito. All right, when are we rolling that junkie? The cowboy burrito happens to be my favorite thing on the menu. Tons of flavor. You can't come to Kansas City without running into this guy, my good buddy Stan from OBR, Operation Barbecue. And these folks deploy barbecue rigs uh, anywhere there's a disaster. We've got about 8,000 volunteers. It's an amazing group. Now, let's be honest between you and me. This guy built his own smoker and put it on the flat top. What kind of smoke are you getting on that pulled pork? That's uh, great. You're telling me that it's off of the cooktop. I wouldn't have believed you. So a few years ago, I was in Truckee, California. Everybody tells me about this place. You got to get the sandwich here. So I did, and it was dynamite. Well, now I'm in Reno, Nevada, and I find out these dudes have got a second location. I got to check it out. This is Full Belly Deli. Sicilian on Parmesan. Absolutely lives up to its name. Definitely Full Belly. These guys are all about creating a great sandwich. They're passionate about it. You got a biscuits and gravy burrito. Their biscuits and gravy breakfast burrito is like two breakfasts in one. They have the biscuit and the home fried potato in there. If you're looking for all your breakfasts, just come get this burrito. Let's see it. What's game plan? We're making a chorizo sausage gravy for our burrito. Olive oil. And you're making the chorizo? It's made from a local company here in town. Got it. Breakfast sausage, all pork. Once the meat's cooked down, add organic AP flour, paprika, Granulated garlic, onion powder. Cook that flour out. Half and half in whole milk. Let this come to a simmer and salt and pepper, and it'll be ready to serve. This next step of making biscuits for one dish, it's impressive. Organic AP flour here, a sugar, baking soda, baking powder. Just give this a quick pulse here. And we have our extra cold butter. Give it a good pulse to get it about pea size. The idea is breaking that butter up so it just sits there suspended between the flour. So when it cooks, you really develop all of those layers. Correct. It means everything in the world of making a good biscuit. Incorporate the buttermilk slowly, and it's going to kind of look a little dry. But he's got more butter than we typically see, so this is going to make a nice, light, flaky biscuit. If we can get it to stay together, because right now it just looks like we're trying to make a sandcastle out of dry sand. <laughs> we're going for a square here. It could be a triangle for all I care. Roll this out. We're going to cut this. You brush it with a little bit of buttermilk. We're going to finish with salt and pepper. OK. You go in the oven how long? 25 minutes at 350. So That is beautiful. Wow. Drop tortilla on the uh, flat top to warm it up. Hash brown coming out of the fryer there. Gonna take our biscuit, ah. slice this up. Oh, seems sacrilegious. We're gonna add a little cheddar cheese to this guy. Crispy hash brown, biscuit there. And then we've got our gravy. Oh, so it's for the whole family, I see. You roll it up. All right, could you help me lift it up? <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> We're gonna take that over to the panini press, and then we are ready to go. High carb, meat carb. <laughs> Well, I'm going to show you the first thing, as scared of it as I was. For some reason, the way you've made it, the way you've seasoned it, it really is not overly heavy. It's delicious. The biscuit is light and flaky in there. The crunch of the hash brown inside is really nice. But the kicker for me is the gravy, bro. Can I just have a bowl of gravy? This is a ski bum delight, 101. Well done, man. Yeah, thank you very much. Well Appreciate done. It. We got a biscuits and gravy burrito. It blows my expectations out of the water. The chorizo in the gravy has so much flavor. The biscuit is soft and delicious. Unbelievable. 